about the positive effects of meditation. Dr. Ramesh Manocha is here to tell us more. Good morning to you, Doc. Hi. Tell us, tell us about this new evidence to begin with. Well, for many years, um, uh, scientists and uh, punters have been wondering whether or not there's something special about meditation and its effect on the brain. Mm. And uh, a lot of research has been done which has been inconclusive in looking at uh, how meditation affects the brain until recently, where uh, some new evidence has emerged showing that certain meditation techniques and a technique uh, in particular called Sahaja Yoga is uh, generating a unique pattern of brain electrical activity. Now what you've done in your experiment here, and we've just got the shot on the screen there now, uh, one of your subjects has been wired up. Yes. Talk us through that. What, what, did you, what did you do and what did you find out? Well this is a, a young lady who's been meditating for many years and uh, we attached a, a highly um, a sophisticated uh, EEG or brain electrical activity uh, detector to her scalp using that cap there and uh, and then we asked her to meditate while we measured the changes um, that occurred in her brain activity during the meditative uh, experience. Were there changes? Yes there were, quite remarkable. Most uh, in the past what we have found is that meditation is uh, about the same in terms of generating uh, changes in the brain as say relaxation or dozing off or mm -hmm. listening to music but this uh, particular technique is um, producing not only uh, very profound alpha states but also uh, a characteristic pattern of theta wave activity in the front and the top of the brain uh, which is not seen in other meditation techniques and is directly associated with uh, enhanced concentration, reduced stress and, and feeling good inside. Now, can we bring that graphic, if we can, back up on the screen now just to show we had two shots there, one yes. on the left, yep. one on the right, just to talk us through that. Well, this before is Before and after, I presume. Yeah. Well, before and during. It is uh, uh, what you would call a, a light meditation and then a deeper state of meditation. And um, what you see there is there is a focus of activity at the front of the head. The first diagram on the left, you see the little pointy thing at the top of the circle, that's a nose, the little things on the side of the ears. And you'll see a focus of orange activity at the front of the head and the frontal parts of the brain. And as the person goes into deeper states of meditation, that activity shifts to the top of the head. And that's not been seen in any other meditation technique except for once in some Zen meditators in the uh, mountains of Japan. But it's never been reproduced by a technique that's commonly available in uh, Western countries. So overall, so we've proved that uh, there's something is happening inside the brain. Yes. Is it a positive effect? What, it what seems to it... be positive because other studies that we've done here at the Royal Hospital for Women and overseas have shown that this meditation technique is associated with improvements in blood pressure, improvements in general health, reductions in stress, it can be useful for asthma, ADD, things like that. So now we're seeing that there are actually changes in the brain that are associated with these benefits. So meditation, I mean, it sounds so out there. It sounds like such a, a foreign you know, thing to, to, to get involved in. But it, it's not anymore, is it? And, and you're no. stressing the health benefits of it. Yes, I mean, doctors are now recommending meditation very commonly. And uh, a good quality meditation technique uh, can, uh, that focuses on the state of the authentic state of meditation, which is a state called thoughtless awareness or mental silence, uh, can be quite beneficial. And I think that's where this. So difficult to achieve, though, isn't it? I mean, you have to be really dedicated to this craft to, to get to that state, that, that mental benefit state. Well, this is the surprising thing is that this technique called Sahaja Yoga is very easy for people to use. And we've taught it to grandmothers, we've taught it to children with ADD. We've taught it to people with cancer, well people, and they all seem to pick it up very quickly and get into that state, that characteristic state of mental silence. All right. Well, it's, it's good to hear it. A non-drug, non, uh, a non-herbal based remedy either, curing yourself almost That's in that right, regard. using the internal healing powers that exist in all of us. All right. Dr. Ramesh Manocha, good to see you again. Thanks for enlightening us Thank you. On, uh, on that one.